driven diesel back after a long time of uh, doing uh, who knows what, probably school. <laughs> but um, the last video you saw was probably the PHP Hydra and how my truck was performing. A lot has happened since then. I actually don't drive that truck anymore. And uh, we've got a lot going on with Hayden 73 Dually. So uh, let's catch you guys up. Naturally with the PHP Hydra, I was running hot tunes all the time, probably more than I should have. I was in street mode like all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Um, ended up having a injector issue. Uh, things started to smoke really bad and startup started to be um, a little iffy. Everything seemed like a cold start that you were starting in zero degrees when it's a good 75 here. So I knew there was issues. Um, with those issues, I decided to part the truck out, just get the most money I could and keep the engine to build. So right now I'm tearing the engine apart. That's going good. I sold a lot of parts, but I still have a uh, cab and frame and some fuel system parts, power steering and water pump. Just uh, hit me up on Instagram if you need any parts for a 7.3 and I'll see if I can hook you up. So since that truck that I had uh, that started to smoke and had injector problems, I went uh, and got a new truck. So uh, let's take a look into that. We got a 1997 7.3 Dually crew cab. Uh, rear wheel drive hopefully I'll be able to four wheel drive convert it uh, when I replace the transmission and I get that front axle going uh, one of the first things I did was got a receiver and a hitch um, still haven't fixed my tailgate but I have one they're kind of rare to find on these trucks I guess everybody steals them or something uh, we're gonna switch out the bed um, cab is relatively clean for one of these older trucks it's got 200 and something thousand miles if anybody needs a dash pad i'm working on creating some for cheaper so uh hit me up if you need one of those for these old body styles i know they're an issue all right going into the engine bay i got sick of the fuel bowl uh design and i went with a marty's e-fuel kit um, and it has a fuel bowl delete, which is super nice. I can see my fuel pressure and I can hear my fuel pump when it comes on. I always know if there's an issue with my fuel. So that was really nice. Uh, we're working on replacing the KNN. I know, gotta do that. Uh, we went and powder coated some um, plenums and the uh, intercooler piping. So we should, oh, I also have a turbo housing that's powder coated, so it should look really, really good. Other than that, truck is uh, about a month or two old to me. All right, so some aspirations for the OBS. Um, since we got the fuel kit, we need the injectors to go along with it. I kind of want to do a 238. Um, haven't really dialed in everything with that. We just know we want to go quite a bit bigger um, and tuned down until we can get a nice turbo set up with it. Uh, we've been, we have our eye on a compound kit right now. So uh, stay in tune and subscribe for a, a compound 7.3 OBS. That's really cool. I haven't really seen anything like that. So uh, we're hope to be blowing up the YouTube with that. Um, some other aspirations are paint the truck. What color we're gonna go with we're not really sure yet. Um, put the toolbox in the back, have the tools in the back. I've been carrying my tools around in the cab, it's terrible. So we'll have that toolbox going. Uh, we'll put some Ford Raptor steps uh, on either side. That should look really, really clean and it should make it easier to get into the truck. Uh, I do wanna put a lift kit on this, but not too high. I'm thinking about four inches. So hopefully we can get all this done in a short amount of time boost fooler, intercooler. We've got all those powder coated parts we need to put on. I mean, this thing will look really, really clean when we get done. New tail lights, new headlights. Headlights are actually coming in. They'll get here next week. Um, I wanna do a 6.4 front bumper. Uh, I think they just look a lot cleaner than uh, the regular OBS bumpers. 
Uh, I've seen some actually really clean rear bumpers that were from the 70s that I kind of like. I'm gonna try to see if I can fit one of those onto my truck. So that should be a video right there. You guys can watch and see if I can get that clean setup to work. Other than that, she's an OBS dually. She goes. Hey everybody, like Jake said, it's been a long time. We've been super busy with school and I got married in December and school again. So, but we're back, I'm graduated. So I got nothing better to do till graduate school. But yeah, we're here, I'm still driving. Jake has a new truck, but I'm still driving my same old 7.3. I got 28 miles at the time of this video until I hit 400,000 miles. And uh, almost there. We're gonna take today, I mean next video you'll see this. Obviously we're gonna pull the turbo off. Um, but a recap of everything that's happened in the last nine months. Uh, it was probably January or so. I was driving to help Jake pull some uh, yeah, transmission out and blew an injector, completely blew, cracked and was smoking real bad and it was, there was an accident. So we're just, I was sitting there idling in traffic and it's just like dug, dug, started knocking and smoking just really bad, almost as bad as Jake's did. And uh, pulled over, got it towed, uh, got new injectors. I went with 180 over 30s um, with from full force. And we got those in there and love them so far, love them so much more power. Um, and I can't wait, got some leaky up pipes. So I'm really, I'm seeing like 12 PSI of boost towing uphill in some of these 9% grades going up to like Roosevelt Lake. So turbo is not dialed in obviously. So I'm excited to really see what they can do and show you guys what 180 and uh, CC injectors in my uh, 7.3 does. Um, also, right after I got all that done, truck was running good, finally, it got stolen. It got stolen right in my driveway. So they, what they did is they punched the passenger side door, they drilled out the ignition, they put their little hot wire piece in there that can just turn and uh, took my truck. Luckily, I've got some safety measures. We're gonna show you more about those uh, later on. They didn't make it very far. They dumped the truck, stole from $5 Ray, they're not Ray-Bans, they're Ray-Bans. <laughs> the cheap knockoffs. Stole a, uh, my big old heavy duty seven ton jack. Jake actually got me as a wedding gift. But, so, gotta go get to do one of those. Got my truck all fixed up at, brought it to the dealer to get the get re-keyed. And I figured while I was there, they could do rebuild the steering column and just do some of the wiring. And guess what? They left open wires, open. They just would touch each other and short out the computer. So I brought it back to them. They fixed it, didn't fix it. Didn't do jack, charged me more money. Put on, they said it was battery cables and put on these freaking dumb battery cables. Look, they're from AutoZone. They're so they're, small. Look. You can, you look at AutoZone, you can see these. So they're definitely gonna be replaced sometime. Um, it really just brought it in case I ever caught the guy that stole my truck and I said, hey, this is the damages he caused. Um, definitely never bringing it to the Ford dealership because we got it back and it was still having issues. Again, we look and there's just exposed wiring. And like we said, they would touch each other short on the computer. So we got that all fixed up. Uh, we just have one more piece that we're gonna show you in the next video that we're gonna do. But yeah, so I got a whole bunch of upgrades. Like I said, we're gonna rebuild the turbo, the, the KC balance wheel kit. I've got new up pipes bellowed, so I don't have to redo those anytime soon. Um, we're gonna delete the uh, exhaust back pressure valve. So we got the uh, deleted pedestal with the high flow outlet. And then we're gonna have some fun. I got a 6.0 cooler, so I keep those tranny temps down. I'm gonna put in new, uh, the redheaded uh, redhead steering box. I've got I've got to fill out my gauges. I have an EGT gauge in there, but I'm gonna with the new turbo and a boost cooler. I'm gonna need uh, a boost gauge. Gonna put in a manual trans gauge and probably fuel pressure, so I can see everything that's going on with the truck. Then we've got to put in Jimmy Jammers. I'm gonna put on new lights, just the ones that I always wanted to steal from Jake. Uh, we're gonna put those on. And then got some sway bar, did some suspension stuff, got some shocks. And we're gonna show you that in the next video where we just spend all day working on a truck. So this is 7.3. We're happy to be back to YouTube. We're gonna try to make more videos regularly now that we're way more free. So like and subscribe. We got a lot coming. Compound 7.3. We're gonna have this thing. We're gonna show you. I have 
bunch of tunes from a whole different tuners. We're gonna show you which ones we like best, what we like about each one, what we don't like. And we got a lot of good stuff coming, so like and subscribe so that you don't miss it. Thanks, guys.